The brave and beautiful Princess of Wales has revealed that she has won her battle against cancer. She's completed chemotherapy and focused on staying cancer free. Catherine, the Princess of Wales, has released a touching video of William and her children as she revealed that she has finished with her treatments and is now cancer free. I cannot tell you what a relief it is to have finally completed my chemotherapy treatment. She's finished her course of preventative chemotherapy following her diagnosis and plans to undertake a light program of public engagements. However, she warns that doing what I can to stay cancer free is now my focus and admits that the last nine months have been an unpredictable time for her family. The experience, Catherine says, has reminded her and her husband, Prince William, to reflect and be grateful for the simple yet important things in life, which so many of us take for granted, of simply loving and being loved. The princess's personal message to the nation is accompanied by a stunning three minute long video showing her and William in Norfolk with their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. It shows the family playing happily on the beach and in the woods, William and Catherine laying entwined on a blanket, hugging their children and smooching. The video is beautifully well done, symbolic, and shows that the most important things to the Princess of Wales is her family. It also showcases her love of nature. It's peaceful and it brings a calm energy to anyone watching it, with wonderful cinematography and a perfect pace to set the tone. While there is no official statement from Buckingham Palace, the King and Queen are understood to have greeted today's announcement as wonderful news and will continue to offer all love, thoughts and support to the princess on her continued path to full recovery. In her message, the princess says, As summer comes to an end, I cannot tell you what a relief it is to have finally completed my chemotherapy treatment. The last nine months have been incredibly tough for us as a family. Life as you know it can change in an instant and we have have to find a way to navigate the stormy waters and road unknown. The cancer journey is complex, especially those closest to you. With humility, it also brings you face to face with your own vulnerabilities in a way you've never considered before. And with that, a new perspective on everything. This time has above all reminded William and me to reflect and be grateful for the simple yet important things in life, which so many of us often take for granted of simply loving and being loved. Doing what I can to stay cancer free is now my focus. Although I have finished chemotherapy, my path to healing and full recovery is long and I must continue to take each day as it comes. I am, however, looking forward to being back at work and undertaking a few more public engagements in the coming months when I can. Despite all that has gone before, I enter this new phase of recovery with a renewed sense of hope and appreciation of life. William and I are so grateful for the support we have received and have drawn great strength from all of those who are helping us at this time. Everyone's kindness, empathy, and compassion has been truly humbling. And she ends it with a deeply moving and emotional message to fellow cancer patients and their families saying, to all those who are continuing their own cancer journey, I remain with you, side by side, hand in hand. Out of darkness can come light, so let that light shine bright. A source stressed that the entire Wales family are immensely grateful for the kind and thoughtful wishes they've received over the past nine months. They are grateful to the media for its cooperation in affording her space and privacy. The princess was first admitted to the hospital in January 2024 for what has only been described as planned abdominal surgery. It was later discovered by doctors that cancer had been present and she embarked on her treatment in late February 2024. However, sources told the Mail tonight that the princess hopes to do a small number of engagements shining a light on some of the causes, issues and charities that are closest to her heart over the coming months. They are only likely to be announced last minute as it will depend when Her Royal Highness feels able to carry them out, with sources saying that every cancer journey is different. The new video of the princess and her family, an unprecedented piece of deeply personal footage, was filmed in Norfolk by one of their favorite filmmakers, Will War. The setting of the footage is deeply symbolic, drawing on the strength Catherine has drawn from her family and loved ones from spending time on the things which bring her joy, particularly the sanctuary she has found in the natural world. It also features her parents, Michael and Carol Middleton, who have been an unwavering source of support. When it comes to positive news, we also heard some other positive news that King Charles's health is headed in a positive direction. Camilla gave insight to the King's treatment when she opened a new cancer center in Bath, revealing that he was doing very well. The King spent around three months away from public facing duties when he was diagnosed with cancer. It is understood the Princess of Wales and the rest of her family have been blown away by the support and well wishes they've received from the public across the UK, the Commonwealth and the rest of the world. 
She and William are known to be particularly heartened by the public's understanding and generosity at such a difficult time for their family. They're said to be thankful for the public and the media for allowing the time, space, and privacy she asked for earlier. Catherine was known to be keen to explain in her words about her experiences over the last nine months and how she feels it looks to the future. It's been a notable feature of her whole cancer journey that the princess has chosen to personally address the public rather than release a generic public statement speaking of her growing public confidence and determination to bring attention to just how deeply tough this year has been for herself, her husband, her children, and her extended family. So happy to hear that she's doing well, thriving, making art, and healing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments. I read all of them. I'm your host, Jessica Chinking. I hope you have a wonderful day.